Hey everyone, Chris Collard filling in here for Tyler on a Tech Tip Tuesday. Today I'm working on uh, my Dodge Ram 2500. It's a 1999 uh, 24 valve. Had a little bit of a alignment issue, so it seemed, but uh, ended up needing some ball joint and uh, decided to do the brakes. Tech tip for the day is when you start to pull these off, I've got four bolts that um, come in off of the knuckle, through the knuckle, and into the bearing assembly. You can't actually replace these bearings, but basically they usually sell them as a whole. And this one's a little bit different in that the uh, disc is clamped on basically with the studs, the wheel studs, to the bearing assembly. The deal is the axle nut is torqued on there at about 180, pound, uh, 180 pounds. And uh, these uh, bearing assembly bolts come through the knuckle and they're in there at about 122 pounds. Not hard to get those off, but often it's really difficult to get the bearing assembly off of the knuckle. So you use a puller like this and it works just fine, but it might just break something trying to pull them off that way. So this is a little tech tip on how to get these bolts off. Once you loosen these guys up, don't take them all the way off, just back them up and then thread them back in until you've got just about an eighth of an inch space between the knuckle and the flange on the flange bolt. And then you're going to take a this spot went down to uh, Harbor Freight. Used to have an air chisel, but I don't know what happened. I bought this one, about 150 bucks. You're going to need this uh, half inch driver tip as well. You can get in behind the knuckle Put your socket on the bolt and just hammer it. And basically you're just vibrating the crud out of it until it loosens up. And you'll see it. You'll just work your way around. You'll have to move the knuckle fore and aft and hit one, hit the other one, go all the way around. And then you're just going to see it. That you'll, um, it'll break loose and it'll be basically the bolts will flush up to the knuckle. The other thing on that, and then you're probably still going to need to use a puller to get it off. But if you look inside, I have an ABS on my rig, and if you look inside, this is where the speed sensor is. Let's take a look at how we address the speed sensor. That thing's gotta come off. Uh, you can either unplug it up here underneath the wheel well, sometimes they're a little hard to find. The other side, it was like right underneath the air cleaner. But you can also just take the uh, assembly off tie it up with some bailing wire, take the uh, sending unit off. A little hard to get to, a normal 3 uh, Allen didn't really fit in there, so I just took an extra one and I cut it off. But you gotta get in there and turn the hub to where one of the little divots for the studs, and then you got enough room to get this thing in there. It's a little fiddly, it's uh, gonna be like one six of a turn at a time. But uh, you're gonna have to take it off anyway. If you decide, if you're gonna either replace the rotors or have them turned down like I did, this uh, sending unit has to come off. All right, and that's your Tech Tip Tuesday. Use an air chisel to get the flange bolts on. Make sure you use the socket. So if you don't, ask me how I know, you're gonna mess up the head on one of those bolts and you're gonna buy new ones. Second tip, uh, sacrifice a 5 16 Allen wrench to get the um, ABS speed sensing unit off of the hub assembly. All right, that's your Tech Tip Tuesday. See you next time.